Namaste. Warm welcome to Heartbeat episode. And this episode is dedicated to sleep and sleep related heart diseases. So, we are being asked uh, time and again some question related how much I should sleep and whether if I am sleeping in the odd hours it is going to affect the heart or the heart function. So, let us understand what basically sleep is. So, sleep is the time in which the body recharges. Sleep is the time in which heart takes its rest or you can say the minimum metabolism is happening. And sleep has got its two phases we call as a REM sleep and non-REM sleep. Non-REM sleep is the non-rapid eye movement. So that time if the person is in the non-REM, the eye movement if you are going to see, there will be no movement of the eyes. In the REM sleep, rapid eye movement sleep, the patient or the person is in the superficial sleep. So non-REM sleep is the deep sleep and that is also divided N1, N2, N3, N4 depending upon which phase of the uh, sleep you are. But the most important fact that we have to know that the person who is having longer non-REM sleep and deep sleeps, they are different for the persons who are having the superficial sleep and light sleep. So every person is different and if you know or not, everybody is blessed with a different quantity and quality of sleep. So uh, giving a blanket example of 6 to 8 hours for every person is not correct. Some person may be recharged with, within 4 to 5 hours because they are directly going to the deep sleep. Uh, Non-REM sleep is a bit shorter and there are some person who will be more in the REM sleep and their non-REM sleep is a bit shorter. So they will be needing more time for the getting recharged or you can say normal at the morning hours. So sleep of every per person is some, something personalized. You can understand of yours what type of it is. If you are having a more superficial when you are going on the bed, it is taking more time to in sleep and when you are going the deep sleep also, if even a small uh, disturbance make you awake means probably you are not going in a very deep sleep. So you may be needing a longer sleep, uh, sleep for recharging or getting a fresh morning mindset. So that is regarding the sleep. But second part the, that is very important nowadays due to what is called globalized that some persons has to work in the night hours and night hours because they have to work for the US and European uh, counterparts and there becomes the health related issues has started cropping up. So they start working at 9 o'clock in the night until morning 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock they have to work to sync their working with their counterpart in the US and Europe. And there the health related issues has started. So these persons who are working in the night, they are certainly compromising their basic natural metabolism. And that's why if these type of persons are doing time and again for the longer time, some diseases can happen before time like diabetes, hypertension, dyslipidemia or lipid related problems. So they have to check their they should screen their um, for these diseases and at the same time wherever possible they should add on health investment what I discussed earlier. They should go for the exercise, they should take some hobbies which will certainly reduce their stress level. Even they are working in the night hour that may not be going to compromise in the long term. So exercise if you are doing in the day times when you are and you are optimizing your sleep hours by understanding what type of sleep cycle you have been given either it is if you are getting more deep sleep you can really recharge in a shorter time but if you are having a superficial sleep then certainly you may be having a longer time of sleep which will be needed. So uh, with this information we will sum up that sleep is an important part it is the recharging for the all the body organs and for the heart the blood pressure falls to the lowest possible to maintain only its stress level to the minimum and at the same time sometimes the patient's heart rate or the person's heart rate may go fall to 30, 35, even 40 also. And this is the way heart handles its own resting phase. So if you are compromising the sleep, you are compromising its resting period and something which is working time and again continuously 365 days without any rest certainly it will get disease if you are not taking care of your sleep cycles. So try to maintain your sleep cycle, give rest wherever possible where, and try to understand your sleep uh, pattern whether it is a deep or superficial and 6 to 8 hour which we call as you can take either 6 or you can go for 8 depending upon the your quality of sleep. Thank you so much. See you next time with some new topics. Namaste.